monthly vlog. Well, not a monthly vlog, but I feel like I do like a vlog like once every month, month and a half. I am going to be leaving for a good chunk of time, but more of that to come. Let's just say I'm gonna be beat bopping around Europe for a while. And now as we come into summer, I always feel like things are fresh and exciting. And actually several weeks ago, I decided to full send and sign up for my first ever half marathon, which I'm excited and kind of very nervous about because I don't really run that much, but this has been good. It's been like pushing me and helping me kind of test my mental boundaries in a masochistic way has been kind of fun. Like it's been good for me. I feel like we place so much value in finding achievement and productivity in like purely our work life. And it's really nice to have something that's non-work related that's a fun goal for me to work towards. So yeah, a few days of my life here in New York. Who came over to distract me? <laughs> it's been a while. She came over to distract hey, me. Yeah, hey, I'll do it. I was like, I'll just sit and like, don't speak to me. I was like, that's not gonna work. And it didn't work. We knew it. But like, why don't we go work in a cafe with a glass of wine? in the fresh air That's instead, better. so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Panic ordered a massive margarita. She's trying to feel something. In real life. <laughs> partner and neighbor and today is a interval training day so getting some sprints in hello can you believe it's may i feel like the first five months of this year have been a little bit stagnant i'm like wh where did the time go we're already five months into 2023 so excited for summer around the corner give me sunshine give me water and i'm very excited because i'm subletting my apartment and i'm going to go to europe for two whole months which is wild. I'm a little stressed. I have a lot to do between now and then. Extremely grateful that I can work remote and do that. I've been here now five years. <laughs> While I love it and it really feels like home, I feel like for this exact season of life it's run its course a bit. Again, not like end my lease, sell all my furniture type of end, but like let's try something else out for a little while. So that's part of the reason why I wanted to spend the summer in Europe because I don't know. I feel like I'm on this journey always to figure out what feels like home and what feels grounding. You don't necessarily need to move to another country to do that, but I feel like for anyone else out there who maybe is feeling that way, even just mixing up your environment or even changing towns, it's just doing that, that thing that you've been thinking about that is mixed with fear and anticipation. Like, listen to that and maybe lean in. I figured I'd share a few favorites at the moment. I just finished Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin and that book is so well done. Really interesting insight into the gaming world and the characters felt so real that I felt like I should be able to like Google them, find them in real life, like I wanted them to be real. I'm getting a little repetitive, but I am on my house music game and I have a very fun new playlist. It's disco and I've been loving the song. And one other newer playlist called Sprang. This art is called Night Tapes. Okay, those were some favorites. I actually have to run to a vet, which is very exciting with Lancome. Taking a quick second to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp. If you're unfamiliar, BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. You can basically tap into this network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists to help you with a whole wide range of issues. I think therapy is very important and I've used BetterHelp a lot in the past. All you need to do to get started is you basically go on, make an account, and you answer some questions about what you're trying to work through. BetterHelp assesses those needs and preferences and then works to match you with the right therapist from their network. And you can talk to your therapist in a variety of different ways from video calls, texting, phone chats. I think what makes BetterHelp so great is that you get that professionalism and quality that you expect in in-office therapy, but instead it's 100% online. You have a therapist who's custom picked for you and it's often at a more affordable price. So you get 10% off at BetterHelp and that's H-E-L-P.com slash Lena Tabor for your first month if you wanna try it out for yourself. Of course, everything will be linked down below. And thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Just to see you. 
It is so glorious out. This is the first time it's felt like this in New York since probably October. I decided to text in our like friend group chat. I was like, what's our what do? So now I'm gonna get drinks and tacos in the West Village. And I'm thrilled. So we're pitching on uh, opening in North America. probably the craziest email I've ever received in my life two days ago. I have really processed it. It's making me a little emotional, but I'm headed to DC today to go hang out at the vice president's residency for Earth Day. It's like a dream. This is insane. I'm kind of in shock. I have to head to the train station, so let's go. Looking, lots of security. I gotta practice, practice my handshakes. I try my best to do some soft sustainability and activism. I'm not like a full fledged activism content creator, I just like try to tie it in when relevant. And to be able to attend something like this, to be surrounded by actual on the ground activists and leaders and powerful women is just so crazy. If you could have told my younger self that this would be happening, I would absolutely not believe it in the slightest. I panic rented a power suit off front the runway. So we're about to try that on and hopefully it looks okay. Let's go. <laughs> Just casually at uh, the vice president's residency. <laughs> we have Kaylee from Climate Hello. Power. I've heard it's gonna be very fun. Forever, unless we keep them open. So much is happening in our country, and it's just <laughs> casually leaving the VP resident. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. taking a napkin with a presidential seal. Uh -huh. Show me the napkin. Don't show the Secret Service. <laughs> Good morning, DC. Time to go for a run. I'm actually excited, you know? Like, the Lincoln Memorial. was incredible. It was such an honor to be there. I got to meet the queen herself, say hello, shake her hand. And here's some inspiring words too about climate change, climate action in terms of Earth Day. Like she acknowledged that obviously there's a lot that needs to be done, but it's also important to celebrate some of the successes along the way. And also, if you've been paying attention to my videos, I worked with this organization called Better Internet Initiative that basically helps creators share accurate information of what's going on in the world with their audience. And in their recent report, they were talking about how the Colorado River is drying up. It runs through seven states here in the U.S. and serves one out of every 10 Americans, which is about 40 million people. And it's drying out from a combination of chronic overusage as well as historical drought conditions that are brought on by climate change. Water conservation is an issue that we really need to take seriously and I feel like we don't necessarily hear as much about. So it's really important to have leadership that addresses this. But at least right now, the current Biden administration is working to cut over two to four million acre feet in water usage. So something to be aware of and to make sure you're conserving your own water, paying attention to kind of what's going on and how it's important and how we can vote and be involved essentially to address these kinds of issues. But happy Earth Day, and you know, we gotta keep working to protect this planet. Yeah. 